What was your job exactly there? Music director. We got an eight week of movies, a great week of doozies, so tune in, you'll say, okay! Okay! Oh yes! We hold on bananas! We hold on bananas! Hooray! Monday, Go Bananas is a man tangles with a bunch of atomic baboons in Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Monday at 3.30 on Channel 7. So, uh, when did you start writing music? When I was eight. Half the time during my waking hours, or sometimes in a dream, a song comes to me. In spite of the fact that we, the family, and a few other people are the only ones who ever hear it. Isn't that amazing? After he um, creates a CD, um, when he's testing it out, he'll go into this, his van, which has a very good stereo. He'll go in there and listen to it. And um, sometimes uh, he loses where he's at. And one time uh, he was sitting in the middle of the street. <laughs> a happy time. It's gonna be a lot of kid. Oh boy. She's right. Hold a sight. She's right. me. My wife Colleen singing. Did he speak my name? Is that a beautiful voice or not? Yes. Uh, very, very incredible. Pretty. And he, this guy came in, walked right past me <laughs> to the president's office. And I thought, that. That's me at NBC, my first job when I was in the music department. Oh, that, that's all me. That's, that's a you friend, were, coach that's worker friend of mine. They're all worker friends of mine at NBC. In the merchandise mark. Early, when I was around six years old, uh, we would invite, my Frank would uh, arrange for us to go into Something Channel 7, WLS TV, wonderful. and we'd and sit in, in the newsroom. And uh, so uh, we'd Come see Fahey Flynn wonderful. with the bow tie, and, and uh, John Drury, uh, Joel Daly, Something these guys. Simple and honestly so true. Honey! Um, and that, that was uh, an incredible time. It's something I'll always remember being in that studio. I was the longest employee at the ABC or Blue Network then. Now it became the ABC. I was the longest player employee at the time. I'm still probably him that ever worked for ABC. Something wonderful, something oh so wonderful, wonderful has happened. To me. Let's back up a little bit. Can you tell me about your? Uh, oh, I don't mean back up. I meant oh. in, in, your, in, in your story. Uh, to uh, your mother was born in Minnesota. Say that again. Yeah, she was born in Minnesota. In a little town, probably 600, 800 population, but she lived on a farm and. Uh, her name was Kittleson, who was a bar had a barber shop there. They got married and moved to Park Rapids, Minnesota, where he opened his barber shop. When I was uh, probably starting around 12, I became very interested in Marlar Prime. 
Why can't they see that to fly is to reach for the highest high? To fly like a bird, can this be so absurd? Not to me. They say brave men have tried, and those brave men have died. Folly, oh folly, no man can master a quest with no answer. It's folly, pure folly. a TV show, an afternoon show, uh, at WGN. To be with you is my desire. That's the building that uh, housed Bandstand, which Colleen produced, and where we discovered the highlights. And we recorded a bunch of songs in the lobby of their building. That smile, that face, that look, they got me, yes it's true, they got me, they do, they got me, it's you. Well the first song that I had recorded with a song called If I Cry, it was recorded by a little girl called Joyce Taylor. 55 maybe. About 55, yeah. Fantastic singer. She became a protege of Howard Hughes. He brought her to California. And because she looked like Jane Russell, a miniature Jane Russell, only much prettier. But he kept her there for under contract for seven years, never did anything with her. He just moved on. He was so busy, he moved on to other things. He bought her contract from Roy, and he took Roy Rohde and her to California, and he wanted to take me, he wanted me to head the record company that he was going to start. Bye 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 baby, goodbye. Kyle was at a concert, they interrupted the program in the middle, and the announcer comes out and says, well, I've got great news for you. Your song, Bye Bye Baby, just hit number one. <laughs> there once was a time when our happy heart were young and gay. Since you've gone, clouds of doubt and sorrow till my day, till my day. Perfectly Frank, an HD movie produced by his son Robert McNulty, 
featuring Colleen, Robbie, Carrie, Julie, Janet, and Tommy, and extended family and friends, influenced by Frank and Colleen's love and genius, a story that will get stuck in your head. Please help Frank's dreams be realized at www.gofundme.com slash perfectly frank. A story that will get stuck in your head. Perfectly Frank.